So in today's video, we're going to talk about an issue with our 2003 Nissan Sentra where we have two problems. Um, our cruise control will not work intermittently when the uh, taillights or headlights are on. And we also have a loss of power intermittently. Um, again, only when the taillights or brake lights are on. Um, the fix to this was a, a poor ground at uh, one of our taillights. Um, so if you're, if you have those problems and you want to know something to go look for, uh, go see if you got some some poor grounds on your uh, taillights. Um, and if you want to dig a little bit deeper than that, keep on watching. Oh, Nissan Sentra. Uh, so we've got this problem with our underwhelming 2003 Nissan Sentra where we hit the gas you see right here wide open throttle right here we're wide open throttle here's our mass airflow sensor right here nothing's going on then all of a sudden we get a little uptick here and we notice that the injector pulse width right at that same time so we're again wide open throttle the injector pulse width says nope and then it's like oh okay i'll give you some injector pulse width and that corresponds with the uh, mass airflow sensor increasing because the engine rpm is going up we're trying to figure out why why are we not giving it any injector pulse and uh i think we got it right here throttle sensor says one and a half volts <laughs> that's all i got until it magically says oh 4.12 that's wide open throttle so we go from not happening to oh okay yeah I'll, I'm, I'm open now so either our uh, throttle isn't opening fully it's an electronic throttle body so who freaking knows uh, but most likely it's probably just the throttle sensor acting up when you're asking for wide open throttle and the uh, throttle valve goes open all the way to wide open throttle the sensor is probably telling it that it's only like halfway there that's why it's only giving you half of the pulse width now this being a drive-by wire there's two acceleration sensors those are on the the pedal accelerator pedal they do this so they match so the computer can actually make a decision this says wide open throttle this one needs to say wide open throttle too before it actually gives you wide open throttle for obvious reasons and then same thing on the throttle it's got redundant throttle sensors so i thought maybe there was an issue with the throttle sensor but we can see throttle sensor two throttle sensor one they're matching so that's pretty good indication that's what the throttle is actually doing and then of course our acceleration sensor they're matching so again this is where our issue is this is where we're commanding full throttle but only getting less than half throttle so let's use this cursor and scroll down here and see what's weird right there and yeah, would you look at there we're going wide open throttle here but it thinks our brake switch is on so it's only giving us half throttle and then it magically look thinks that our brake switch is off as soon as it goes to off you saw that transition when this goes from on to off this goes from 1.47 volts to 4 volts so there's something going on with the brake switch where <laughs> The computer thinks that the brakes are on, and when the brakes are on, it's not going to give you full throttle. Sure, I'm glad I checked this second second option and data available to me before I threw a throttle position sensor in here. Now yeah, let's go uh, see what a brake switch is going to run on this guy. So here's a kind of basic schematic of the uh, taillights and brake lights on that one. Like I have my 2003 Nissan Sentra, but pretty much all vehicles are so pretty similar to this. Um, yeah, in essence, you know, we've got the, the 12 volt battery here, um, the taillight switch, which is going to be housed inside your, your headlight switch, and then 
we have a brake light switch. And one thing to note here, so we have this signal wire that's coming off the brake light switch, and this is going into the PCM. Um, and I bring this up because it ties directly into the problem that we're having with the car, where the car thinks that the brakes are on when they're not, and it's doing so by, by sensing voltage on this line. Um, let me show you real quick how that's happening. So, normal operation, we turn our taillights on, we supply power to this left taillight bulb, and we also supply power to this uh, right taillight bulb. And then both of these, you know, we have a path to ground. We complete that loop there. Um, but in our instance, what we have is we have a poor connection at this ground. So I'm going to remove this so we can highlight what's actually going on with our left taillight bulb and why this is causing our problem. So when we turn our taillights on, we have a voltage at this lamp, which would normally go to ground, but since ground isn't there, um, it's, it's still going to try to find a path to ground. And if we follow through this brake light bulb, notice we'll come up here to the brake light switch, and of course there's no path here because that's open. Um, and then it's going to try to go into the PCM, so that means that we have a voltage at this pin that goes into the PCM. Um, we also have this path where it's going to try to find through this right brake light, and there we go. Now it's found a path to ground. So even though there's no ground here, when I turn the taillights on, this taillight bulb will actually light up because that path comes through this other brake light bulb right here. And that means that we have a voltage on this line that goes into the PCM. The PCM thinks that the brakes are being applied, and it responds by um, only allowing us about a third throttle because it thinks that the operator is on the brakes trying to stop the vehicle, and if there's a problem with the drive-by-wire pedal system, um, it, it doesn't want to have that problem get compounded and, and, and not let you slow down the vehicle, so it's going to respond by only giving you about a about third throttle which is exactly what happens to us, and the uh, cruise control will, will stop working when this problem occurs because, again, the PCM sees an input from the, from the brake, brake light switch and thinks that the brakes are applied. And then, yeah, that's how a poor ground, or a missing ground, at one of our taillight bulbs was causing us to have uh, reduced power on the engine. There you go. And we have since repaired the ground with this connection here and the problem's gone away. There you go.